victory is within Rio! Oh, another one! Help! Somebody help! No clue why we took the long way round. Would have been quicker to go through the woods. Folks say the forest's cursed. Bah! Blather. There. Packed. Much obliged. Very kind of you. Knights Young? What say you we play some cards? Aye. And hear another story. No, not tonight. Why not? With the fire, pipes, Gwent, we've got to have a tale. It's tradition now. Ah, fine. So be it. Here's a story Geralt told me only after much prodding. It happened in these very woods, not far from Aldersburg. The Witcher was traversing the wood with his ever-loyal, occasionally blundering, companion in many adventures, the Bard Dandelion. Road-weary, the two decided to pitch camp and brew up a soup. Geralt collected water for the kettle, while Dandelion wandered off in search of milk caps, chanterelles and porcinis. Amidst the trees, a wooden bridge came into view. At one end, a group of travelers. At the other, a monstrous horde. Ah! Help! Save us! I beg you! Why do I always find myself? Uh, hold on! I'll get help! Dandelion pivoted on the spot, then froze in place. Ah! Geralt! Geralt! Use that witcher hearing of yours, damn it! They'll devour us! Eat us alive! Run while you're able, and your legs will carry ye! No, no, stop! You'll never escape them! They're too fast! And just who the ruddy hell are you? Some bloody expert on monsters! I've learned a thing or two. Second hand. We can't let on that we're afraid. Come on, everyone! Forward! Attack! Sorry. I'm coming! And ye, Master Bard! Ah! Uh. Holding my position for now. Someone should stand back, observe the battle as it unfolds, devise tactics, a strategy. Oh, bloody hell, another one! Help! Sorry. God, have mercy on me. Excellent! Now hold your position! There! In the underbrush! Another! Ha! One look at us and it hides, tail between its legs. This beast has some sense. Bad mushrooms. I just had to have mushrooms. We've got them outnumbered. We can do this. Slash, strike, kill. And so, with some remarkable aid from Dandelion, the hapless travelers escaped with their lives. Yet their victory proved as unexpected as it was fleeting. Hear that? That frightened beast. It's returned. And it's not alone. Don't mind. I'll lead the way. Follow me! Charge! Curse it. Will not leave you behind! Yeah! <laughs> Famous last uh, right! Coming! On my way! Three against three. We can manage with odds like that. Then again, perhaps not. This is the end. Goodbye, cruel world. Curtain. Resigned to his fate, Dandelion slumped to his knees to await the final fatal blow. And yet, it did not come. For the monsters retreated as if stricken by a sudden terror. Dandelion spun round to identify the source of their fear, spotted his savior, and bellowed, Geralt, finally! You even realize how long you kept me waiting? Nowhere near as long as I've waited to hear you say thank you. Saved your skin how many times now? What would you say? Now step back and sheathe that blade before you hurt yourself. I beg your pardon? Before you deign to show up, I actually killed one of these Beasts myself. Mm -hmm. No witnesses, I take it. Don't lie. Move it, folks. You strike from the left. You from the right. While I, while I'm still needed here. <laughs> At last, victory is within Rio. Ah! Oh, another one! Help! Somebody help me! Die, you scoundrel! You rogue! 
Another monster! Another beast! I hate portals. Ha! We won! We are victors! Do you see that? My selfless final assault turned the tide! The travelers, not in want of coin, rewarded their saviors generously, then offered yet more in exchange for another small favor. In their panicked flight from the monster swarm, they had abandoned a wagon heavy with valuables. They wished now to recover it and make haste out of the Moulderwood, with the Witcher as their armed escort, of course. Geralt was, at first, inclined to refuse, Yet Dandelion, upon hearing the promised sum, swiftly persuaded his friend to accept the contract. The Witcher would prove he was well worth the coin soon enough. The wagon stood abandoned and turned upon its side at the road's edge, right next to a monster nest. Damn it, no telling what's in there. Need to be careful. Whatever your orders, Master Witcher. We trust you. Stop. Everyone stay back. It could be a trap. <laughs> We've done it! We've won! Easy now. Too early to celebrate. Keep your wits, damn it. This isn't over. Shh. More coming. They'll surface soon. Geralt's intuition once again proved true. From the depths of the nest emerged a wave of monstrosities, covered in mud and congealed blood, their eyes burning with hatred. God! There's more of the filth! Attack! Quick! Before they scatter! Ha-ha! <laughs> they didn't stand a chance! With Geralt leading and guiding their efforts, the travelers defeated the wretched horde and recovered their wagon of valuables. The caravan then resumed its journey, turning north towards Aldersburg. The forest's edge was not far. With a favorable wind at their back, they would arrive at the city gates before nightfall. But rarely does a favorable wind blow through the Moulderwood. As our heroes and their companions rode through a village that lay in ruin, a man in a tattered uniform emerged to meet them. In the name of King Damavid, I command you to stop. A toll is owed. You must pay it here, you must. In a ravaged, deserted village in the middle of the woods? Interesting place you've chosen for a toll, collector. Your authority. You know, the writ that grants you the right to collect? I wager it's just as interesting. And I'd very much like to see it. Well, a pair of slippery snakes you are, ain't you? I wonder if you'll keep laughing once my flares knocked all your teeth out your mouth. Get them, lads! Let's get them. <laughs> Sorcery. Real bloody magic. Don't shit yourself silly at the first sign of luck. This ain't over just yet. Geralt, look out! Ugh. Take that, you freak! <laughs> no! Master Witcher, do you require aid? No, I'll manage. That ought to do it. Dandelion, need to see to my wounds. You're in charge. But I... Figure it out. Just... Ah, got the bastards! What doesn't kill you? Two arms, men! Uh, aye. Right away. You this don't look good. This don't look good at all. With life, mates! For love and honor! Not so tough without your witcher, are you? Actually, we are extremely tough. Dangerously so. Deadly, in fact. So much so, we're giving you a leg up! We Master Dandelion, they've got the upper hand. We cannot survive this. They'll slaughter us all. To the last man. Calm yourselves, men. I've an ace up my sleeve. What the devils was that? A dwarven battle song. Nothing quite like it to stir a fire in your heart. Now, add them! 
Victory! Sweet, sweet victory! The travelers had managed to fend off the bandit deserters. Alas, this did not at all mean they had left danger behind. The unexpected skirmish had delayed them. It was clear they would not leave the wood before dusk. And the Moldwood, hazardous by day, turned utterly deadly by night. The travelers required a safe location in which to pitch camp post-haste. And here, fortune shone down upon them as they soon discovered a cluster of elven ruins. Yet the travelers soon also discovered they were not alone in choosing the ivy-covered stone structures as their shelter. Verla, who approaches? Merchant caravan. We mean no harm. Oh, you think me so gullible, Dwan, to believe these words you proffer so easily. You humans hunt us like animals. Half our unit lost just two days past. It wasn't us, I assure you. We had nothing to do with... Gods, what was that? Erica's queen. Must have followed our trail. We destroyed her nest. She's out for revenge. Oh, typical. You disturb nature's balance in the forest and now stand bewildered as it seeks to restore it. Seems we can't count on their help. Close ranks, now! No! It's not possible! This is it. We'll die in this accursed wood! Hey, Long Ears! Once this beast finishes with us, you know you'll be next, right? He speaks true, Sorka. Bleda ass! So be it. Attack! Forced by circumstance to do so, eternal foes stood shoulder to shoulder against the monster horde. Indeed, it was truly a rare sight. Humans and Squantel fighting side by side amid elven ruins! Geralt, can you imagine the ballads? Can you hear them? Won't be no ballad if you're dead. Focus, damn it! Let's get this over with. The Arrakis Queen staggered, shrieked, and emitted a blood-curdling howl before collapsing onto the wagon and smashing it to bits. A groan rose from beneath the splintered boards. Someone was there, trapped, but alive. An elf, badly bruised, his limbs bound with rope. The Scoyatel recognized him at once as the leader of a lost guerrilla unit. The alleged merchants had captured him for transport to Aldersburg, where he would first face torture and then the hangman, while they collected a hefty reward. Rather obviously, the revelation of the wagon's occupant put an immediate end to the alliance forged just moments before. Our heroes found themselves between a rock and a hard place, left to examine their conscience and loyalties, and, in consequence, to choose a side. In the end, Geralt and Dandelion supported the elven guerrillas in battle. I know not their reasoning. Perhaps they concluded that justice lay in the Scoyatel camp, though, just as likely, they may simply have disliked being played for fools. Our heroes turned and strode away from the elven ruins, battle sounds still echoing behind them. Tears welled up in Dandelion's eyes, then spilled and trickled. Is this the way it would always be? Would humans and elves never live in harmony? Thereafter, the Witcher strove to avoid these woods, and did his damnness never to meddle in settling others' scores. What a tale. So something wicked dwells in these woods after all. Go on, tell us another. Hmm. So, perhaps the one about... <sighs> Tales are nice and all, but it's time we moved on. Hmm. We really gotta chain him? I got no choice in the matter. Stand up. Right. As you wish. <laughs>